In this video, we are going to create a dog walking website for you step by step. If you are in the pet care industry, whether you are a dog walker, a dog sitter, or you own your own boarding facility, this video is for you. I've had my own dog walking company for a little bit over a year now, and in that time, I was able to scale my business to over $85,000 in annual revenue. I built my website before this tool I'm going to show you today was available, and it took me over 20 hours to build. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your website up in a fraction of that time using Hostinger's AI website builder. The website we're going to use to set up our domain is Hostinger. We're going to leave a link down below in the description and you can follow along as I work on it right here. Hostinger's AI website builder is great for beginners and it's super affordable. I'm telling you, I wish I had a product like this when I created my website. It would have saved me a whole weekend worth of work. Without further ado, let's get right into it and show you how to create your dog walking website. When you click on the link down below, it's going to bring you to a page like this and you're going to want to click claim deal. So after you've clicked claim deal, it'll bring you to this page here and it'll make you choose between premium business and cloud startup for your hosting plan. If you scroll down here, you'll see that some of the similarities between all three of these are that they have unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, free email, and a domain that's included. And then some of the differences between the premium and business plan are that the business plan comes with some more WordPress AI tools. If you scroll down to the bottom here under security, you'll see that they all have a web application firewall, a malware scanner, as well as a secure access manager. And lastly, under service and support, you'll see that they all have a 30 day money back guarantee. So for most people, premium is going to be enough. You can upgrade to business if you need some of those WordPress AI tools. But for now, let's just choose the premium one. Click add to cart here, and then it'll bring you to this page where you will choose a period for hosting. Now, the only one that we don't recommend is the first month here at 1199. It's really expensive for one month. If you lock in for 12 to 24 months or even 48 months, you can get a much more affordable deal. We'll just choose the 12 month here and as you can see it's $2.99 just under $3 a month. Next you can go ahead and scroll down and create your account details here. I'll go ahead and enter in my information. Now you can scroll down to select payment and this is where we're going to enter in all of our information. I'm going to enter in all my information here. As you can see here you're already getting a 75% discount using our link but you want to make sure that you click have a coupon code here. Once you click have a coupon code you want to type in the words my first website with no spaces. After that click apply and you'll see that it brings the total down another $3 to $32.29 for the whole first year of hosting. So for just over $32, you get a full year of hosting, like we said before, an insane deal. And lastly, let's go ahead and input our payment information here. And then you'll notice here at the bottom as well, 30 day money back guarantee, like we talked about earlier. So it's really at no risk to you. Once you go through the sign up process, you should get to a similar page that looks like this. You're going to want to click start now. Now that it brings you to this page, you're going to want to create a new website. And then now you want to click hosting or builder with AI. Here you can claim your free domain which I recommend you do. You can select here and then pick your desired domain name if it is available. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to click choose a domain later. But like I said, I highly recommend that you claim your free domain. Click start creating. And then here you can enter your site information. So you want to enter as much information here as possible that will help the AI create a good looking website for you. I filled out the information here. And like I said, I put as much information as possible so that it will create a good looking website for me. There's no website type for dog care company here. So you just want to click other and then hopefully with all the words that you put in the description, it will give you a good looking website. You're going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show my personal website to see how it compares to the one that the AI built for us. If you go back down to the bottom here and click personalization settings, you can see the style and colors. For now, I'm just going to pick surprise me, but you can change your color palette as well as the design and style of your website if you like. For the sake of this video, let's just do surprise me. Once you're finished with that, click create website and you can see the magic work. As you can see, it's creating the website it should be done here in less than 30 seconds. You want to make sure that before you click that button, you're as descriptive as possible because that's going to build out the main points for your website. So you want to include things like your services, your rates, all that information. This is what it created and it's actually pretty good, I would say. So there's an about us section. You can see premier dog walking service written at the top here. If you scroll down, you can see our services with dog walking, pet sitting and doggy daycare. This is actually very similar to how my website looks. So I think it did a pretty good job on that. Down here, I wrote that I have happy clients and that I have raving reviews. So it took that and put that in here as well. If you go back here to the top in the right hand corner, you could see the services tab that it created and it has this picture of this Frenchie it looks like and our services. So it didn't get everything spot on, but we can adjust everything here. And trust me, this is way better than starting from scratch. Now, if we go to the top and click on contact, we can scroll down to the bottom. This is a very important part as well that you can acquire new clients and it put in a really good contact 
contact info card here and you can change your location on the map. I would say pretty good so far. Just to do a quick rundown of some of the items over here on the left hand side, this is your progress bar, this thing that says two out of nine and you want to make sure that you finish all of these steps before making your website go live. If you click on this section here, you can add certain elements, you can add text, you can add a button, you can add your Instagram feed. There's a couple different things that you can embed into the website. If you go down here, this is a really important section. This is pages and navigation. So I'm going to want to add a gallery here, which we will do in a little bit. But to do that, you would click on add page and then you would click new empty page here and type in gallery. You can save that and then when you go in to adjust it here, if you click on this color palette here, you can change the colors, the text, the buttons, and the animations, which is really neat. Just to show you real quick how the animations work. So currently there's a slide animation on this homepage and I can change it to a fade. I can also change it to a scale, which is really cool. And all that animation changes is how it shows when you load the page. If you go down here, they have a tool that helps you start writing a blog, which I actually have on my website and I use AI to help me generate content for that. If you go down here, you can click online store and that will help you set up a store. The next one is really neat. This is all of the AI tools. So if you click on this, you can see that it has a logo maker, an AI writer, a blog generator, and a heat map. For the purpose of our website, a blog generator would be helpful. Let's click on blog generator and see what it can do. It's really neat here. You can change the tone of voice as well as the length of content. So let's choose casual 300 to 500 words, and then you can put in some description and it will generate a blog post for you. I typed in here, how to walk dogs in the rain without getting wet let's see what type of content it creates. And look at this, two minute read, how to walk dogs in the rain without getting wet. Look at that great picture of this pup here. And then it also gives you all these different headlines. So invest in waterproof gear, choose a covered route, time your walks. This is all created by AI and you can generate content like this on a daily or weekly basis. Obviously you want to adjust it and make sure that it sounds correct and you don't want to copy this exactly. You can just use this as a framework, but you really want to make sure that it sounds like a human and not like like it is written by artificial intelligence. Another great tool here is the AI logo maker. We've already used our credits to generate some logos for another video we were working on, but these are just some examples. And if you put in your information, I'm sure it'll give you a really cool design as well. The only thing about these is that you have to buy credits in order to purchase the logos. They're relatively affordable. I think the first credits start at $10 and that's a lot more affordable than hiring somebody to create a logo for you. So if you like these, you might as well give them a try. If you go down the list here on the left-hand side, we'll see that we have have analytics next. And then the last thing here is languages. At the bottom, we have spotlight search. So let's say we wanted to add our social media. If you type in social, boom, socials pop up right here. Here's another quick tip about building your website. If you check out this picture of this dog that the AI built, you can actually get similar photos to this on a website called Pexels. If you go to Pexels, you can search content like dogs and you can see what it pulls up. I think this is actually one of the stock images that I have on my website. The one thing you do want to be aware of though, is you don't want to download load an image that is too big because that will take a really long time for your website to load. So when you download these images, which a lot of them are free, you can download them in the smaller size to make sure that it doesn't take up too much space on your website. Really helpful tip. You don't want your website taking too long to load because people might click off. Going back to our homepage here, I want to change this to the name of my company. The AI just put premier dog walking service, which is good, but I want to change that to Sam walks dogs. So let's just type in Sam walks dogs here. It's very easy to change all of the descriptions here. All you need to do is just click on them, double click to get into them, or you can click and then click edit text. Another really neat thing that the AI built for us is this button here. And you can add these over here if you go to elements, you can add another one, but let's go to edit it for now. If you click on edit button, you can actually link to a web address or you can link to a different section of your website. This is super helpful if you're trying to get new clients and you want to link them to a Google doc that you're going to collect their information on or whether it's some type of form inside your site. This is really helpful and you want to make sure that you have a call to action book now button. I like that they put this about us section, we might want to edit some of the color schemes and make it a little bit nicer to look at, but it's good that it's here. Another really important thing is if you go to the top, you want to make sure that you look at your website in mobile mode. By clicking on that button, you can view your website in mobile mode. This is something that I didn't do on my website when I first got started and there were some pictures that were cut off and I couldn't figure out how to do this, but Hostinger makes it really easy now at the top. You can just switch between desktop and mobile mode. If you scroll down,
found, you can see that everything looks great. This picture of this dog isn't cut off like it is on here. And I think it even looks better on the web. As you scroll down, you can tell the differences from the desktop and the mobile version. Actually on the mobile version, this picture looks a lot better than it does on the desktop. Going back to the main page, one thing that it doesn't have on the main homepage that I think it should have are some reviews. So let's add a review section here. You want to click on add section here. There's a bunch of really great templates that the AI builder has. When I built mine, it was a little bit different and harder to manage, but now it's easier than ever to click between these templates and they're all really good looking. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom, there's actually a place where you can click on testimonials. So let's see what these templates look like. And if we scroll down, you can see that it has everything formatted for you and you can just select to put one of these onto the main page. I think I like this one at the bottom the best. Let's click on this one and then we can edit it. So after you've added added that template in, you can just click in here and edit the text as well as edit the image if you need to. All this is really easy and super intuitive to do. It's just clicking and dragging and there's no code required. Let's go back to creating this gallery section that we talked about earlier. So let's go to the menu page here and then we're going to go to gallery. Once we're on the gallery, then we're going to click on this section and we can add a section. They actually have a great template for gallery here and let's click on gallery. We can scroll down and see all these different options for how we wanna lay out the pictures that we decide to put on our website. Let's just click on this first one here. It has a bit of an offset design and I think it looks pretty good. To manage each individual picture here, we wanna click on one of the pictures and then go to manage gallery. That will let us change the order of the images as well as the images that are here. If you go to edit gallery, this allows you to change the items per row and the gap between the photos, which is great if you're looking to change up the style. Now I want to show you how this website compares to the website I built out without this AI tool. So let's go to my website. So this is my website, samwalksdogs.com. And as you can see, I really like the clean layout. The one on the AI builder doesn't have as clean colors, but that's super easy to change. Like I said, you just go into the color palette here and you can change all of these colors that I don't really care for. As you scroll through the top of my website, you can see my menu page and it actually has it dropped downs for a couple of these. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in the AI Builder. If you go back over here to page and navigation, you can actually click on this little gear icon and you can make this a move to drop down. And as you can see, that will create a drop down on the homepage that clicks to services. I remember having to adjust the position of pages on my website in the back end of WordPress and it took a really long time for me to figure out. This is so much more intuitive, very easy to use and really fast. If we go back to my website, my font here is a little bit small. I can probably make that a little bit bigger. These pictures that you see are all stock photos from Pexels. They were free to use and I just downloaded them off the internet. I like how I display my services here, very clean walks, sitting and drop-in visits. I like the reviews section on my website. I don't think it's too wordy and I think it has enough information that would get a client to want to work with me. And if you scroll down, you can see my about me section where I give a little bio and I have a picture here with my cousin's dog. Now, one thing that the AI builder did really well that I didn't do super well on my website is my footer. You can tell it looks a little bit outdated and it doesn't have the same footer that these have. It has all socials, contacts, and a newsletter subscription here. My website is really lacking and I need to include something like that. This footer on the AI builder looks so much more professional than mine and I recommend that you go along with something like that. I created a page for my about us section where I just give my mission statement, a picture of a dog that I got off pixels, and then our values and missions. You can create something super similar to this very easily. I can actually go do this right now. Let's create our own version of that. I'm going to add a page, do empty page, and then I'm going to do about us. Once I have about us here, I can click on add section and it gives me a bunch of great templates that I think even look better than my website. This template really stands out to me. I can make my mission statement here and put my values here. And then I can also change these images very easily. Now we go over to services and you can see that I have all the different services that I offer here. This is a very simple page to create. All it is is a picture and then a little description on the side. And then I have linked this more info to another page on my site. I actually want to show you how to link a picture to a new page or a button, whatever you might do. It's the same exact process. So let's show you how to do that. I'm back here on my about us page. If I click on one of these images, I can go to edit image and then action. Once I click on action here, right now it says nothing, but if I click down and go to open link, it'll give me the option to link to a web address. Or if I scroll down, I can just link it to another page 
page on my website, which is really neat. You can also make this open in a new tab. Like I said, this is so intuitive. When I had to do this and create it on my own, it was way more complex with WordPress. This is the best way. Everything in here is very intuitive. So if you don't see everything in this video, I highly recommend that you just go play around with it. You'll figure out how to do it very easily. Another thing you might want to include is a photo gallery. I already showed you earlier how to do this. We can pop it up here. All you have to do is switch out these images with some that you've taken on your own. Here are some pictures of me with various dogs and cats that are really cute. I actually have a blog on my site as well. I only have one article up, but I used AI to create this as well. And I just proofread it and make sure that it sounded like a human. I had to use an external site for mine to create the content, but now it's all within the AI web builder on Hostinger, which is really great. Lastly, you want to make sure that you have a great contact page and you want to make sure that people can get in touch with you when they need to. So make sure that you have one of these forms on your site and Hostinger already built that out for us over here, as you can tell. What I actually like about Hostinger too is they have this little Google map insert where you can put your location. I think it's a neat classy touch and I should put it on my website. The last thing that you want to do before you publish your site is you want to click on this top right hand corner and check on preview. This will give you a desktop as well as a mobile version of your website and you want to make sure that it looks good. As we scroll down, you can see all the animations come into play and this is exactly how it's going to show on the internet. You wanna make sure that this is perfect. Let's go over and check the mobile site and you can see that it actually puts it on a little phone, which is cool. And when you scroll down, you see that everything looks great. It looks so professional and I cannot believe that AI is now creating this. You can do this in less than an hour and make a really good website. A lot of the aspects of the AI website that were built actually look better than my website, like the footer. So I'm gonna go back and make sure that it looks just as professional as the one that the AI built us. Hostinger's new AI website builder is a game changer. I'm telling you, I wish I had a product like this when I created my website. You can see it made a product that is very similar, even better in some aspects to my own. Obviously we couldn't cover every single aspect of your website in detail, but I really hope that this video gave you a broad overview of the different areas that you need on your website. I hope that the tips and tricks like creating logos with AI and using websites like Pexels really helped you. I really hope that you gained some value from this video and that you can go create your dog walking and pet care website today. If you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more of it in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. This channel is dedicated to helping you create your first website. All the resources that we talked about in the video with Hostinger as well as our own service that helps you set up your first website for free will be linked down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.